So the Obama administration has caved again. Oh boy, what a, what did they cave on this time, guys? Well, this time they caved on new regulations that would look to rein in some for-profit colleges. Hmm. Now, let me get into some of these rules. The, the initial rules that, that were proposed back in March uh, targeted for-profit colleges and were actually fairly tough. But these rules were, of course, targeted by a huge lobbying blitz by the industry. And so, of course, knowing our government, knowing how lobbying works, they were watered down. Now, one of these rules was called the Gameful Employment Rule. So what did that do? Well, basically it said that if the program you're offering does not prepare the student for gainful employment, then it will no longer get federal student aid money. Interesting. Now, how do they measure that? How do they measure to see if, if uh, a student gets gainful employment? Well, they look at the ratio of student debt to average earnings and, of course, the rate on default for student loans. If the ratio of a program uh, is too high, then it's considered a low-performing program, and it would not be—it would no longer be eligible for funding under the first draft of these proposed rules. Okay, the first draft. The new rules were unfortunately uh, not the same as the old proposed rules because of this massive lobbying blitz. Well, why would they lobby so hard against these rules? Well, because according to statistics for-profit colleges get about 90% of their revenue from the federal government in the form of student loans. That's sort of their cash cow, you know? So we don't want to take away the cash cow, so we got to water down these rules. Not only that, but the gameful uh, employment rule, if enacted, if it had been enacted in the first draft, would have actually shut down 20% of the programs at for-profit colleges for failing to meet these standards, these gameful employment standards and another 11% would be at risk for failing. So you're looking at almost 31% of their programs being possibly axed because they would no longer get funding. Now that, that is a huge substantial part of the for-profit business model. Not only that, but the Dep Department of Education estimated that about 500 programs that would have failed the uh, original draft rules would now pass because of these watered-down rules. And uh, there was another rule that was also dropped, and that was an accountability metric. Now, this metric would have penalized programs with high loan default rates. So I I'm a little disheartened by this, uh, by, these, by these rules being watered down. I think for-profit colleges are a, a massive waste of money and a massive waste of time, especially federal money. But I want to get uh, your uh, guys' opinion on this. What do you think about these rules? What do you think about the proposed rules and the administration's cave on these new rules? Well, it, it seems to me like the whole point to going to a college, any sort of college or educational place, is to get employment. If the place is failing you and not helping you get employment, yeah, they should not They should be closed down because obviously they're A, they're scamming you, or B, they just really aren't teaching what they need to teach. They need to over, you know, look at their program and be like, oh, well, it's not working this way. Maybe we should try something else. I mean, I think for-profit uh, colleges are the biggest scam out there, but hey, hey, if you want to go to one, have at a hoss, like... <laughs> but if it's not working and it's not helping you get a job, then what's the point of even going? You're just going to go into debt and not get a job to pay it off. So it's, and it's oh. also the taxpayers getting into debt as well because a lot of this money, 90% of this uh, revenue comes from student loans paid for by the taxpayers. So it's not only wasting your money, putting you into debt, but it's putting you into debt and taking money from the taxpayers to do it. It's horrible. I don't know. I, as a young American, have come to the realization I'm never going to be out of debt. Like, <laughs> like, I have to pay for wars. I have to pay for medical for old people. I have to pay my own bills. I'm just going to be in debt forever. Well, that's kind of a, the reality of the uh, young American these days. All right, Tom, what do you think? Um, I'll, I'll comment on the 
that with Obama and the Obama administration caving, are we really surprised at this point? It's been six years of caving, capitulating, and giving Republicans uh, targets, um, and easy targets. Uh, the main show did a story about, um, uh, what, what was it, with the, the Social Security. This is a constant thing with them, and it doesn't surprise me. It's getting tired and old, and then they wonder, oh, well, why is there voter apathy? This is why there's voter apathy, and um, uh, it, it's a continuous thing, and the Republicans do it too, but it's really disheartening when the Democrats do it because they're supposed to be good, the good guys. They're supposed to be better than that, and they time and time again prove in a lot of ways that they're not And when they do stuff like this. All right, Sean? Okay, so I'm in college right now. I don't go to a for-profit college. And um, I'm actually, like, I'm, I'm like, this rule is terrible, it, but it's not the root cause of, like, the for-profit college problem. The for-profit college problem comes from the fact that we give out all this aid and all these loans. And, in fact, Barack Obama, more than any other person, because of what he did with student loans, making the interest rate lower is the greatest advocate for for-profit colleges ever. Like, he, the colleges are set up in a way that they always seem to charge exactly what you can borrow, which, to um, Lucy's point, is a huge, gigantic scam. But this is really an effect of the government's getting out, giving out a lot of money, and there are people who are um, rent-seekers that are doing what they can to masquerade as colleges in order to get that money. So, like, the problem is the loan system, and this would really be a patch on a problem that the government created. And for the record, the biggest scam in the entire world is not for-profit colleges. It's adopt a highway. Did you know you can't even widen your own lanes on it? But to a more serious point, um, yeah, it's, it's terrible, and, and I don't like most for-profit colleges. I leave an exemption for certain trade schools like automotive technician and stuff like that that have higher gainful employment than, um, like, the University of Phoenix or DeVry or any of these other colleges that I'll willingly throw under the bus. But, yeah, it's it's a problem, but it's a problem created by the fact that we give away all this money in the first place. You say that it's a problem created by government, but it's a problem that also could be fixed by government. Uh, didn't you see what, just Ger what Germany just did? They eliminated tuition for all university. It, gone. Gone. No, no student loan debts. No uh, for-profit for colleges that are predatory. Get rid of all of that. And well, is, higher education, I, free and attainable. Um, Jeff, I'm not. I'm not a lawyer, but is there a way, um, uh, individual states, if we talk states' rights, um, could like enact laws to make for-profit colleges illegal? And for, or is that against capitalism and I'm a free market hater and all that? Honestly, you could probably, the states could probably do that on an individual basis. But what bothers me about that is there are, like, rare good, like, there are for-profit schools that existed before all the student loan money was injected into the system. And those are, like, your trade schools that teach you air conditioning repair, that actually teach you things for jobs. Not like these schools that promise you like a career in criminal justice, but they don't give you a degree or help you get a license in anything. They just, like, I don't know what the fuck they do, but they don't get you anything. So there are... But Sean, but Sean like, like anything, like Obamacare, <laughs> like anything, you can make exemptions for that in the law. Um, if we write meaningful legislation that outlaws this or outlaws where the money is going to and, and make it stick, um, if we had politicians with backbone instead of maybe uh, getting money from these lobbyists who pay them off, <clears throat> wolf um, perhaps we might be able to have meaningful education and, and erase debt so Lucy isn't um, burdened by it, so you're not burdened by it, and so anybody who chooses to go to a university or seek higher education isn't burdened by it in this country. I, I just, I just want to make one more quick, quick point. Um, that 90% of their money comes from the federal government is actually misleading. It's more because they target soldiers for the other 10% that they're legally obligated to get from not federal government sources, and they end up using their GI Bill for that since that's not counted. 
So it's actually much, much more money that they're stealing from the taxpayers. So it's even worse yes. than, than, than what it's originally reported. And, yeah, th that just seems like it's, it's incredibly predatory from what it, you know, all the information that you have. Like, these guys are hucksters. These guys are charlatans. And the fact that the administration is getting lobbied with so much money on this just shows how much of a, a, a money-making operation it is for these charlatans, for these schools that aren't setting you up with an actual education that you can use to get a job in the market. It's just, it's, it's capitalism run, run amok. Let me say this really quick. This is the, the last point I want to make. <laughs> um, the only way to fix the problem caused by the government is for the government to get off its lazy ass and go ahead and start working for the people. But we're not going to see that until there's changes in financial backing. So, Wolf Dash Pack, it all starts with you. 